hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you will be notified on when i drop the next updates on i do stay tuned on today's episode on i do Sanam and Seher cry and Rehan teases them about having family habit of crying Sanam put the verse on Rehan and says this will keep you safe and give you success please come back soon you are even more closer to me than before Danvi threatens Suleiman and tells him to leave the city and never show his face ever again Sanam overhears and thinks Suleiman knows something and she needs to stop him the new bride walks straight into Sanam who questions her Sanam says none of your business the new bride says your body language shows you're doing something for a hill and I need to know Sanam says by spending one night with someone you don't become a wife and if you think so then well, well I have spent several nights with a hero on the same bed Suleiman is packing to leave town he stops seeing a holy writing and Sanam comes and tells Suleiman this used to give courage to Ahio and this will give courage to you to tell the truth. She tells him, I know you took care of Ahio in the past. Ahio needs you today. He is blinded with Tanvi's love. You are thinking I'm quiet myself despite knowing all. Suleiman says, what all? I don't know what you're talking about. And he leaves. Sanam says, I want you to know that I am Ahio's wife. But Tanvi has turned him against me. He doesn't listen to me. The woman he worships has snatched his property, his love, and will snatch his life. Can you see a hill living like a beggar on the street, sleeping in the grave? Can you see it? Suleiman says, I can't let this happen. I will tell a hill all. The new bride overhears the whole thing. Why Rehan is talking of arranging for a cab? Tanvi asks if he has decided and asks why. Rehan wonders why she still pretends to be bride in front of him. Tanvi asks why he needs to walk. Rehan says he wants to live a respectable life and doesn't need all this, but she has gone so far away that she couldn't hear his screams, and he would wish she too comes back before it's too late and gets punished severely. So Tanvi gets emotional and says no mother does this intentionally, as he can see her presence but not the past, her desires but not her helplessness, as she didn't want her past to spoil his future. She thinks she did the right thing for him, but then doubts her own decision. Tavi laments that she shouldn't have separated him, and if he had a sister or brother, he would have been happy, and hopefully she gets everything right back in time. He hides and wipes his tears, saying he too wishes he can believe her, but seeing her history of lies, he finds it difficult. He says that he's going far away from this house and her too, irrespective that he gets her blessings or not. He leaves why she stands this truth. Suleiman is in front of Sanam and tells Ahil on the phone that he remembers everything and wants to tell him. Ahil is shocked. He asks Ahil to meet him at the airport road and he shouldn't tell this to anyone, not even to Tanvi. Ahil complies. Sanam tells Suleiman that he did right as a criminal should be punished and now Tanvi shall be exposed. Why Tanvi laments Rehan's disappearance she gets the new bride's call asking her to beware telling her about sanam and suleiman's meeting and his talk with ahil she also asked tanvi to get ahil to give the respect and love she deserves as ahil's wife tanvi cancels the call and says it's enough and and now she would get rid of the problem from the very call she is frustrated rehan is packing while sarah keeps giving him advice and suggestion he assures her that he shall come back soon to get her to marry her. She gets emotional and fights back tears. She says she shall come to the airport, but he says he would be extremely difficult for him to go then. And also hesitantly adds that maybe he asks too much from the Lord, as he thought Tanvi would tell him once before going that she can see him, her only child. But he had forgotten that Tanvi doesn't have any place for his emotion as only name, fame, and money hold place in her heart. She comes and says, that's why he's going. He kisses her on the forehead, takes his bag, and leaves. She calls out to him. He says that people shouldn't be called when they are leaving. She says she just wanted him to go to the temple before going to the airport. As he leaves, Sehar breaks down into tears and distraught. 
Rehan eyes his mother's house and Latif comes and tells that Tanvi isn't there as she has gone out. He thinks he just wanted to wish her goodbye but the Lord doesn't want it. Rehan leaves while Seha watches him from the balcony. They both remember their past romantic moment. As he leaves, Rehan's tavas falls off which Seha notices. She rushes out to find Rehan going and then stops as he remembers that he doesn't like being caught from behind when he's leaving. She doesn't say anything and he doesn't look back. He leaves. She prays to the Lord to let Rehan be safe and not let anything happen to him. While Tanvi is in the car, she thinks she has born enough but not anymore. And the reason she had to do this all separates separate her from her own children, that she would end it completely now. She thinks that due to Sanam, she couldn't even give Rehan a proper goodbye. Rehan too in his cap thinks that he won't bear it anymore and that his past life shall end and now he shall not live a life of lies. On the airport road, Sanam assures Suleiman that soon Ahi would come and then everything would be okay. He starts getting impatient and says that he thinks something bad is going to happen as he knows what Tanvi is capable of. Sanam starts getting tensed. He wishes to go while she asks him not to lose hope as Ahi would only believe him and then he would be able to save Ahi from Tanvi. He says that Tanvi could go to any limit to save herself. She tells the trauma that she went through and requests his help. She decides to call Ahil. The new bride thinks that the pawn would be someone else's, while she would play the bet. She says that she shall mix reality and fake so easily that Ahil wouldn't be able to believe her, even if he wants to, and he shall end it. Sanam asks Ahil on the phone about his whereabouts, as Suleiman is waiting for him. He asks how she knows about it. Sanam tells that she is waiting along with Suleiman for him to arrive. Ahi is surprised and asks what she's doing. She asks him to come here and then she shall explain everything. Ahi hurriedly complies. The new bride watches Sanam and Suleiman from a distance. She again assures Suleiman that Ahi would soon reach. The new bride wonders where Tanvi is and informs Tanvi that Ahi would be here in five minutes. Tanvi asks her to get to work to delay Ahi's arrival. She gets frustrated. As Kazal are driving the car to take a shortcut to arrive fast. <clears throat> the new bride thinks that if someone has to be killed, then her hopes shall, should dash as that's the easiest way. She says that Ahil is being expected by Sanam. She eyes in hell, weirdly using black magic and thinks Sanam's hope that Ahil would come to her soon. But the hope will be dashed as this won't happen. She pins the nail in a tree back. At the same time, a nail comes in her heels way. Thank you guys for watching today's update on I Do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.